Do you test cables with shields or grounded drain wires? If so, consider these important facts about properly testing shielded cables. There are a number of different types of shielded cables. Some examples are foil with a drain, metal braided shielding, individual shield conductor, multiple individual shielded conductors, and shields within a shield. Shields in cable assemblies prevent radiated signals inside the cable from interfering with nearby electronics, like your TV or radio. Shields also help prevent radiated signals outside the cable from interfering with the proper functionality of the cable itself. Shielded cables can also pass higher frequency signals. The two main quality problems with shielded cables are the increased likelihood of shorts due to the exposed foil or metal fragments, the need to assure that all shields are in place and appropriately connected. Shielded cables have an increased risk of shorts due to stray metal strands of braiding, inner wires that are nicked when removing jacketing, or exposed foil in over-molded cables. Because these risks are so much greater, Cirrus recommends HiPod testing be performed on all shielded cables. The second quality issue is assuring that shields are properly connected. For cables with simple connector-to-connector -connector shield wires, make sure that you are using Cirrus adapters with a testable grounded shell connection. Use capacitance tests to check shielded cables that have the shield connected at only one end, since a continuity test is not possible. Same side shield and relative capacitance commands are available on advanced Cirrus testers to improve testing cables with moldable shields. For more information on properly testing your shielded cables, call us today toll free at 1-800-441-9910.